Hi there, I'm Robin, I'm here with Zen Audio, and what you just heard there was to demonstrate some of ALK's pitch shifting and offset features, which is what this video is about. Now before we go any further, um, ALK allows you to pitch shift or change the offset of any playback loop. So let's say you record something in, into a record loop, and in the playback loop you'd like it to pitch up um, seven semitones or an octave, it's really easy to do that and that works with both audio and MIDI in LK. So what I've got here is a little arrangement to demonstrate. I'll just put something in there now. Now what happens if I hold down command while hovering over this loop and scroll up and down on the trackpad is the pitch is shifted by semitones. And we can take a listen. And we can easily reset the pitch shift value by pressing the reset button here. And then we can also change the pitch from the right click menu. You'll see that this little tick here denotes which value we're currently on. Going back now to the original arrangement, I'll explain something that I did. Um, here I've got this nice airy pad sound. And it loops in these, these single playback loops here. And when the guitar comes in, to complement the chords of the guitar, I've actually chosen to pitch um, this one up an octave and this one down an octave. And if you zoom in, you can see that the value is here. So this is um, this is 12 semitones. And if we go to the, the last one in the sequence, this is minus 12 semitones. And you can hear that from a very simple held chord, I now have a nice um, complementary accompaniment to the guitar playing. So as you can see, it's a really powerful feature and you're only really limited by the ideas that you can come up with. This is just one of the ways that it can be used. Another thing you can do is um, take a single chord and pitch it to other chords. So here I've got this single chord sound. And let's say I want this one to go up seven semitones. And this one can be down seven semitones. And maybe I actually want to make this one half as long and double it. Moving on now to the loop offsets. Um, uh, the offset is basically the start point of the loop. So let's say for example I have um, this drum loop here. If I hold down command and scroll left and right on the trackpad with two fingers while hovering over the loop, I can now change the offsets by bars, beats and beat fractions. So you can see that this now starts on the second beat of the bar. I can shift it to the first beat of the bar. So the first thing you'll hear now will be the snare. Now the more we zoom in, uh, the more uh, resolution we get with the offset. So if I zoom really far in, um, I'm going to be moving around by small fractions of beats. Um, now just to take a look at the values of the offsets, we see now that we have three numbers and uh, a reset button. The first number denotes the amount of bars of the offset. Uh, let's say you've got a loop that's several bars long and you want to offset the beginning by one bar. You'll see a one here. Um, next along is beats. So you can see that this one is offset by one beat and along here. Um, this is a beat fraction, so this is a 0 0.25 of uh, a beat, so essentially a quarter or a fourth if you're in the States. 
And we can easily reset this by pressing the reset button here. Now using the offsets, we can do some really uh, interesting things. Um, let's stick on this drum beat for now and we'll zoom into the sliced up parts here. You can see that I've got an offset of three and three quarter beats. And along here, I've got an offset of three beats. And there's been a lot of uh, different chops made to the uh, to the loops. And what you get is um, kind of a breakbeat sort of style, you know, but it's a breakbeat that's made with your own live loops. <laughs> And we can also combine both techniques to um, to create quite interesting patterns and melodies. Um, down here I've got this piece of guitar that I've chopped into bits and some parts of it have been um, offset shifted and some parts have been pitch shifted and uh, the result is this. <laughs> So as you can see, it is really quite powerful what you can do with these techniques in terms of recycling material that's already in, in the session and creating something new with it. So yeah, get stuck in, try some things out, do some pitch shifting, change some offsets and see what you can make. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.